it fucking marked it like pay attention something was done where they knew somebody interceded on my behalf that had power yeah and I, and it was and I, it was palpable man they went from like treat me like you know like what the fuck like an airman basic you know i was like being treated like that by them to them fucking stopping and listening to every word i said anyway i'm, I'm being honest that's the truth and that doesn't mean that they were they may not have even known it was McCain. There was something about the character of it that they could recognize somebody stepped in on my behalf. And they don't know who it was, and that's what made them leery. They were like, oh, let's not f fuck with him. It's just like my the representative there, my congressional representative. No, I spoke to the aide of my representative, and I told him everything. He treated me like a fucking, you know, jerk-off on the phone. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? And then when I called back to see where it was, which he didn't, hadn't done anything, he took his hands off of it completely. He, he, was, he acted almost like he was afraid to talk to me. And it was over Norfolk Southern this time. You get it? Because <laughs> they don't want nothing to do with me. My representative, because of the Norfolk Southern thing, he doesn't want to have to fucking do what he should have fucking done from the beginning. Right. You got it. I mean, I, I told the whole... They know the whole fucking story, Kevin. And they, they don't want... They, they avoid me. Like, you know, like the fucking uh, COVID. They avoid me, brother. So, we both are in, we both are in a situation. And, you know, you could end up... Uh, you, you know, if you, you pursue this, you know... One thing's for sure, you got me as a character witness, uh, I think. <sighs> he's dead, man. You know he's dead, dude. Yeah. You know what Beauchamp wrote? He told somebody that was a friend of his that was mentioned in an obituary that I read. He told somebody the importance of keeping records. He thinks, that dumbass, he thought until the day he died that he, by him backdating and, you know, uh, uh, what's that called when you fucking write everything down? He thought by his attention to detail, which would have all been fucking backdated fucking bullshit from him anyway with me, he thought that that was what saved his ass. You know what saved his ass? God's grace in Jesus' name that I fucking didn't press anything. I didn't want to fucking go through it. That I didn't, that I didn't want to. That's what saved him. It was by the grace of God that it, that it was lifted from my heart to not pursue it, or he would have been fucking through. I could, you know, I even had a, I even had the congressional, uh, you know, the District 17 contact me. They fucked up so bad, Kevin. I think I'm just letting you know, you know, I think they forewarned the base, you know, and that's what why why all that happened. They forewarned them like a quid pro quo, you know, like here I'm going to do you a favor and let you know you're going to get this fucking congressional down your throat in a you know in a few months. That's what happened. But uh, anyway, enough, enough said. I think you get it. But the congr congr but they called me after I was out when I was living back here in PA. And they acted like they didn't fucking know. Oh, yeah. And I, I was just like, I, I was like, I don't even want to talk to you. You know, I, I don't want nothing to do with with you. I, I, never, I didn't even know the congressman's name. But they called me to see if I wanted to pursue it after all that had happened to me. You know, I'm just saying, ah, oh, fuck it, but... I don't... Well... Well, you know, okay. Yeah, well... What are you gonna do? That was yesterday. I mean, I had an opportunity, you know, another opportunity. Somebody who really 
was on fire. You know, God had set them like, had, had appointed them to help me and I turned it down. I'm telling you somebody that would have gone through the whole process for me, man, for nothing, just to help me. I had, I, you know what, you go, you know, when you walk through that, you know, you, you, you have to go through it to know why. Because there's no way that I could ever convey to you. Oh. Yeah, um. See, I, you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I, see, I got to tell you the truth. I, I, I am thinking all along that you like, when you said you got r ridiculous, you know, you had a ridiculous settlement. Ridiculous to me is not a little matter. I thought you were okay. I thought you could do something like this or I wouldn't have said anything about the VA and been pressing you hard. I thought you had the... You know, I, I, oh, I mean, I mean, I, I, I have to, I have to tell you the truth, Kevin. I really thought you thought all this time, brother, you were sitting on several hundred thousand dollars. Oh, all I'm saying is, I thought all this time that you were like sitting. I honestly, why, uh, why? I didn't know. I thought you were like, Kevin, I thought you were like sitting on several hundred thousand dollars and you could do it. Okay, okay, all right, all right. D okay, no, I, I get you. You just don't want, whatever you got, you don't want it going towards paying all this money out for health care every month. I get you, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I hear you. And for and and forgive me, you know, for uh being pressing into you pressing into you. We have a habit of doing that with one another and I I'm sorry. Forgive me. Well. Well, I'm I'm still in a I'm still in a predicament, you know, because I'm in a predicament, but you know, it's I'm trying, I, you know, I'm thinking I might receive my, my I might receive some compensation over what was done, you know, to me. I I've got the ear, Kevin, of folks that are right there in the administration. It doesn't mean that I got the president's ear. I know that. I'm not fucking, you know, going to be that deluded as the president's fucking reading my t fucking uh, Facebook uh, page. I no, I but but there are there there are uh there are some folks that are assigned to monitoring me and you know they, they might be they might have someone's ear could help me you know what I mean to get things going I don't know so you know I don't know if it's gonna happen or not but you know Kevin Kevin when I brought up the matter about you know uh, the uh, retrovirus that you know, I was injected with and the other guardsmen and reservists when I went through army boot camp did you believe any of that? I mean, or does it sound so crazy? You know, because I, I had to wonder about it, you know, because I mean, it, it, I think it helps me in Jesus' name. I'm going to say in truth, because I have captured that 9-11 chronicle. That's the most complete chronicle, you know, outside of the media reporting on 9-11 that's out there. And, and that I did capture the only video of a fucking you know multi-billion dollar disaster that's been hidden you know from so i mean there are there are a couple things that god has allowed so that i could be heard that you know that and i don't want to exploit that which i haven't like you know all for my gain like oh I, i'm looking for compensation but it's, but I, I don't, I, Kevin, do you think there's a, anything wrong with me bringing that into the whole equation? Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not trying to, I am not uh, trying to, what's the word when you pressure somebody 
into giving them, you know, them giving up money and shit. I'm not, what's the word for that? Yeah, it's not fucking that, Kevin. Obviously, I don't think that any, there's anything, I don't think there's anything that I can do that ever will bring this matter to court over Norfolk Southern and what they've done. I don't, I don't believe no matter who the fuck I talk to is going to make a difference. So, you know, I, uh, and I've and I've and I've released and I've released everything. It isn't like I could say I I could say I got to all these videos that prove that the fallout was here and that they were burning off shit before the hand and you know doing it intentionally and monitoring the burn and you know illegally. I, I mean I've already released everything. And <laughs> I don't have anything. I'm holding back. Like I'm there's no way I could extort anybody. You know what I mean? You know when when there are when there are thousands of views of you know the fallout video on fucking TikTok and it's on the Joe Rogan experience and he's talking about it and showing my footage it isn't like I can fucking use that to extort our government into helping me it's out there fucking how many how many hundreds of thousands of people have seen the video if it was on the Joe Joe Rogan experience of course so I have nothing I have nothing Kevin it isn't like a malicious move that I'm trying to exploit uh, no, would you would you say? See, I don't even know the fucking word. What's the word? When you try to, and I'm not playing dumb. I don't even. I don't. That word isn't even my vocabulary. What is extort? I honestly don't see. So I mean, yeah. We, you know, if I hadn't already released everything. And like I said, if my video hadn't already been on the Joe Rogan experience and I have talked to the governor, I've sent everything, every video out to our administration. If I've sent everything out, how can I, how is it that I'm extorting anybody? I mean, how the fuck, I ain't got nothing that I'm trying to do that with. There's, there's nothing I'm trying to hold over anybody's head or fucking nothing, Kev. All I'm asking for is, hey, if you... Well, even with that, I released, you know, I held back something, but it, but it's not a game changer now. It don't mean nothing. Whatever I held back doesn't, doesn't change anything or is going to affect anything. If I would have released it, it might have, it might have threw fucking, uh, it might have been a problem. I don't know. But then again, Kevin, who the fuck am I to come up against the powerful propaganda machine that moved you know, everything into Iraq and took and fucking took out Saddam Hussein and moved us into Afghanistan. Who the hell am I, you know, to stop that? You know, that that propaganda, that that narrative, you know, that was all the, that work that went into that and everybody was on board with it, the media and everything. I couldn't have done anything anyway. The only reason I didn't release it, one, two reasons. I didn't want to remind so many people about their loved ones or friends that had died that day. I didn't want to open up new scars. Now, that was the main one. And the second one, when I thought about it, was, boy, am I glad I didn't influence anybody to run down to the recruiter and fucking join the Marines or the Army or, you know, to go over there and fight, to, you know what I mean, over that shit because... But my video didn't contribute to one of them, not even one of them going down there. To the recruiter not one and I, that's that was a gift of, of God that in Jesus name that I got nothing on me with that so I must say him brother I I don't have anything I'm trying to this isn't nefarious I'm not you know trying to do anything I'm just asking for some honor you know like if I'd ask for anything if it'd be for you Kevin if you wanted to pursue it I'd be with you as well whatever I know about you you know is it Everything's positive, you know, with you uh, about m my testimony of you as an airman. Um, so, you know, if you ever wanted to pursue what you what you share with me, I I'd be with you, you know. But, you know, I'm I'm not, you know. Anyway, oh, that's a that's a lot being said. What I just said there, I know, but you know, it's true though. I don't know why you don't. I don't know why you don't pursue something with that, Kev. You know, if you, if you if you got that, Kevin, you might be in the same rocking in the same situation as me. You could be right. You could be looking at, you know, compensation. Hell, you might not even have to go the route, you know, with uh, the VA if they give it to you, if they give you the compensation, which is what I'm hoping. Yes, sir. 
Well, you know, you've got you've got me as solid, you know, uh, character witness, and obviously, I I mean, I'm telling the truth, Kevin. You were fucking straight arrow, man. You know, you were you were career. Yes. I fucking and I did. I I knew something was up with you. I didn't know what the fuck it was, Kevin. But. Of, co of course there's a record. Of course there's a record. There might be some kind of code that's on there that you don't... You know, yeah. Let me tell you something. When, when I went to the VA in Pittsburgh, you know, this has been years ago when I first got here. I mean, they didn't do anything really to help me there except one thing they were treating me like I was nothing when I went in there they looked at my shit and all of a sudden they changed their whole fucking demeanor with me and it was because something was indicated on there that John McCain had fucking he had some he did something that in Senator Graham and Senator Rudman they were like all about real tightening up tightening up uh, military spending but only spending on the service members and benefits it wasn't weapons and shit you know the you know what I'm Yeah, I mean military spending, you know, it didn't go down, but boy, you know, I'm talking about for weapons and munitions and those weapon contracts and everything, but boy, they really put it to us, you know, it, it, military members at that time. Uh which they'll pro which they'll probably be doing again here the next administration, you know? I think it's I think it's coming again. I really do. I heard some. I don't know. Even, I honestly don't think it matters. There's certain things. You know what I mean, Kevin. Certain things. It doesn't matter who's in the office. You know what I mean. Uh, like this thing with you know supporting the nation state of Israel. That it doesn't matter if there was Trump or Biden. They're both going to be on the same. You know, at least they're going to give you know Israel what they want. And if there are if they're if the if they're going. If, Kevin, you know what I mean, like, it, it, when it comes to, I'm sorry, <sighs> I can't, I, I'm just, when it comes to the weapons contracts and what have you, who knows how deep the roots are into our representatives from those uh, um, manufacturers of, of these uh, weapon systems. Um, but they're all, all most, of, most always, they're 100%, they're, they're you know, in, the, in, the, in there for whatever kinds of spendings for contracts. Anyway, uh, how did you know? <laughs> Erratic. You're like, what is he doing? Fucking masturbating when he's talking to me or something? What the fuck is this freak doing? He's breathing hard. What the fuck? Jim, what are you doing? No, I... I'm, yeah, I'm going to... Well, yeah, you let me know, and Kevin, I mean, it'd be, it would be, uh, it's a done deal. You need, you need me to give you a character reference, or really, which is, you know, you have no doubt will be a, a good character reference. You've got it, so. Okay. All right. Have a good, have a good evening. If you decide over, over the evening and night you want to go trout fishing tomorrow, give me a ring. We'll run, we'll make a run. Okay, all right. Okay, good night, Kev. Oh, shit. How's it looking? Looking good here. Looking not so good here. Well. At least I'm going the right way, right? <laughs> Almost fell over, man. 
It's rough. It's rough, you know, I haven't, I, uh, oh, because of inactivity, I've lost a lot of my, uh, fucking, what's, what's, uh, what came so natural, you know, to me, look at that, boy, I've lost a lot, man. Ooh, that fucking, excuse my language, uh, that really sucks. Ooh, oh man. Oh, I got this umbrella with me and uh, got no need for it, you know? Isn't that cool? I'm gonna get a drink right now. I'm gonna take this off and make sure that I got battery. I'm gonna hit this. All right, and then the other one's lower. I think I'm gonna take, I should probably turn this battery around. Um, I'm gonna turn it around because uh, I'm looking at the one, I got another camera and it's running low. Why? You know, when you when you go through that, when you go through what, what I went through, then you then you then then you'd understand. But it's different. It's different. We went through entirely different shit here, bro. And it's just like you know, I'm sorry, but you know, I would have uh, I I burnt my fucking dress blues and dress greens. I had blues from the Air Force and greens dress greens from the Army, you know, National Guard, and I burnt them in a burning barrel to get myself to separate that part of my life to put it to, to just burn it up get rid of it move on because I couldn't I, it was bad yeah and it wasn't I didn't do it because I hate our nation or anything I did it because I need to separate myself from from the whole thing you know it wasn't an anti it was just fucking anti-memory. I I, I, get, I, uh, I have to put this thing, bury this out of my mind, you know, or, or it's going to fucking destroy me. Anyway, did you have thoughts like that? You, you have? Like, like, yeah. Wow. Man, I can't believe they put you in that fucking situation like that, Kevin. Yep. It's all their fault. It's all their fault that you were put in that situation entirely, Kevin. You've got some you've got something. I don't know, I would uh Well, what do you have to do moving forward? Have you given it enough thought? To know what you need to do to proceed. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <sighs> 
H87. Wow. Man, it's crazy to think about that. You got a March of 88? You know, and I'm always what So no You know, imagine that though. It was July of 89 that I was released. That's a long time. That's a long time from the time you got out. It pretty much. That's yeah, it is. Wow. I mean, that's, that's a long time. Hi. I hadn't realized it was that long. I was always wondering why, you know, you seem fuzzy on things towards the end there, but you weren't even there. So you weren't you weren't there when we got the C17. None of that. Nope. See, that's what that's what made my career, bro. That's what got me over with Air Force Illustrator of the Year was all that work on the um, welcome package that added that was like the icing for me you know that was like well, it's like you know it, it's a job you know if you get if you get certain if you get a certain duty you, you can you know it can make your career but that's what that was for me i mean that was pretty cool but you know you recognize that i never said that i was you know a fucking straight straight arrow airman like you or Applegate, you know, I never, or Delaire, I, hell, they were a lot better airmen, you know, than me, but I fucking, whatever it was, it, whatever it was, they identified me as being the best in, in my AFSC, so, what, you know, I can't, I'm not going to deny that, I, but I can tell, I can, with humility, obviously, I can admit, you know it to be true, hell, I, you know, when you met me, I was trying to keep my hair out of regs, fucking using, uh, uh, Moose in my hair. I mean, <laughs> I was doing everything I could to fucking resist, you know, and uh, I was, uh, you know, but things change, brother. Things, things did change. And it's amazing when you know, when you know, when you, when you, when you know then that there could be a congressional inquiry coming down on something, it tends to fucking it make you walk the straight and narrow and and you can imagine what that would what all that means too you know so i did become a much better airman i guess i guess so i don't know i don't know <laughs> yeah i have to i have to be careful what i say about about any of these things, man. I don't know if who's monitoring me is gay or what. I don't want to piss anybody off. <laughs> uh, well, we we served with a few, though. I think, even in our time. You know. I mean, I think Haley was a dyke. I think DeLong. We know DeLong was uh, was bisexual. I mean, she cost uh, Hester. You remember Hester? She cost him his fucking career. He, I think he he they forced him out as was a, a fucking airman basic or an airman, and he was a tech sergeant. They stripped him of everything. Yeah, it was Haley. You know, he fucking got drunk and pulled down his pants. Show show her his fucking. He must have had a monster cock. He was proud of. Got him in a lot of trouble. No, let's be honest with one another. He must have felt pretty confident when he shut, when he exposed her, himself to her that she was going to reciprocate in kind. But she, I think I think I think she was straight up, you know, a uh, dyke. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, I get along with her, but after she did that to Hester, it was kind of hard for me to for me to have the same kind of you know like amicable. I just I felt so bad for for Hester even though Hester was he was a very racist son of a gun too
Oh, yeah, was he? <laughs> Ain't that something? Wow. Well. Oh my God. It sounds like, it sounds like a Dovenbacher party, except, man, I never saw anything like that, man. When I, when I saw my supervisor, you know, uh, in there gang banging some whore, you know, that, I was like, my goodness, I could never look at him the same way. I mean, I, when I walked in there, you know, that whatever was of God in me was like fucking overwhelmed. I felt like I was right in the fucking pit, you know, right in the pit of evil. <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't know where he is, is right now. I, I mean, I, yeah, it was a bad, bad deal, bro. But I just, I just, you know, when I saw all that, I just started fucking laughing. You know, uh, you know, when you know when your nerves do that to you. Because <laughs> the guy I'm talking about, who you mentioned, he was trying to get this uh, whore to to like uh, give him fucking fellatio, and <laughs> and she didn't want nothing to do with him, right? And I don't know why. It's like I'm looking at him. He looks so ridiculous. You know, like I was like. The whole scene, there were people all around this woman doing everything to her, and and there he was there, and it was so fucking, you know, demonic. Yeah. Anyway, there was a lot of shit, is all I'm saying. We had, as far as with gays, we had, we had some pretty perverted motherfuckers that were, you know, in our unit. Think about it, brother. Didn't think of it. We don't think of it that way when, when, when we're there, though, did we? Right? I mean, or did we? Yeah, I guess we did. <sighs> yeah. I tried to get... I was trying to swap. Did you know I was trying to swap? Because, remember, we couldn't get a PCS. That's what... Because of, uh, you know, the Reagan administration. That's where it is. <sighs> you see? So the left leg is like almost three inches, or at least it's three inches longer than my right. But it's because I've needed hip replacement surgery for over four years. And it's just the way it is. Here comes the car. All right. All right. I don't know if I can... I'm going to have to stop for a moment. Tighten up the helmet. There we go. And back on it. Here we go. All right. Oh! Ha, ha. All right. There it is. Not easy, man. But, you know, there we go. My heel even is hitting the crank, you know. It, so it needs to go out a little further. But I don't know about the integrity of having that three out. If it's strong that way, then great. I'll go for it. I could try it. Down, down shifting here a little bit. I don't know what the grade is on this hill. We're in creeper creeper now. I'm just seated and uh, trying to pace it. Oh, 
Whew, in Jesus' name. May my fruit be good. On, yeah, in Jesus' name, Yeshua, of Nazareth, risen and exalted. Wow, that's tough. There's no way you could do that on a stationary bike. No way. Because there's no risk involved of falling. It's coming now. Hello world. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, come on, man. There it is. All right. Let's see if we can plug this one in. I'm plugging in a, a battery. Oh good, it's good, all right. Excellent, excellent. That should make a difference. It is. All right, we checked everything out. Makes a difference. I'm gonna permanently hook up a, an extra battery on the other camera, which you can see I got two cameras on board. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna listen to the gospel for a while, man. Here we go. Uh, oh, 
boy. Whew. That water is good. Yeah. I'm juggling a lot of shit here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how it works out now. Okay. There we are. Oh shit. Here we go. All right, let's go. Whew, here we go. Here we go. Whew. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right. Whew, here we are. Yeah. Close to creeper gear. Here we are. Whew. Oh, boy. It's okay. Whew. Oh, man. Whew. Man. Wow. Man. 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 Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy. Whew. My uh, left pedal, I've got two extensions out on the end of the pedal arm, in between the pedal and the pedal arm. Two extensions, like, so it's, it's, uh, it looks like it is two, like two inches out. It could, I could, I'd do better if it was just a little bit more, but it's working. But it's not, it doesn't take all the pain off. Uh, but it does help. Still painful. Just, um, I'm able to have my foot caught, my toes are really far out to the left. So is my knee. And my heel, though, it's in towards almost touching the bike. That's the, uh, the toes are out maybe. Oh, shit, I don't know. Of shit, more than five inches from the frame of the bike, you know, and the toe and the heel is right up against everything. Anyway, Yeah, my left foot isn't even squarely on the pedal. It's almost on the outside. You have to see it. I don't think I can... I'll see if I can... Uh, see that. I don't even know if you can see that from the camera. see if I can loosen the helmet and uh, capture this you know what this looks like I don't know if that's if you get it now huh that's what it is okay all right and then on this leg, church, and we're nowhere near Council Road. Not really. And this is not Council Road. Whew. Wow. Okay. Hmm. 
coasting now, man. Right shoe, right shoe is a little tight. <sighs> yeah, I get a fair and just result. Get some compensation. I'm gonna buy shoes that. will uh, tighten and loosen with a knob instead of tying I have to get a drink roll my sleeves Wow. Wow. I wish I my firewood. I would love to have a pile of logs to split, you know? where I could just take my time and work that into a routine to do as much as I could, you know, every day. It's a practical thing, you know? Practical. Practical motivation. the activity into a practical motivation a godly motivation first of all you need to be a godly motivation in Jesus name for instance I'm not able to help anyone if I can't move if I can't Shifting going uphill when there's tension like that is dangerous.
nice yard. Big yard. I saw a deer cross here the other day. Now I know why. It's a beautiful yard. Man, oh man. rough one. Wow. Here's a notepad I dropped. I'm going to pick it up. field but I'm concerned about fleas you know rough that's rough well man let's see I'm fastening a strap around the uh, pepper spray I've got. Oh, good lord, this is rough. I'm gonna get on it. Uh, and, uh,
That's where the pad was on the ground right here. Hope that ant makes it off the road. In Jesus' name, may he, uh, please. Hallelujah. Same with this spider. Prayer Mountain with a star of David. It ain't working, buddy. Wow. I knew he would turn. I deduced as much. Deduced. Because the other way, it's only a few houses in between. I don't know. It would make no sense to go that way unless you were just out for a Sunday drive. Which could have been, and still could be, since it is Sunday. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This whole area must be called Canelton because the name of that house of worship there was Canelton. My battery went dead, so uh, is that something? Whew. Oh man. Look at that washer. Oh, fuck. Ah. Whew. Shit.
I don't want to know what's in that bag, you know. I thought, I thought it might have been that Pioneer speaker. Oh. Like the whole thing just fell off a box. I mean, fell off of a truck. Wow, my fucking... I wonder if my sugar's fucked up. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it must be my sugar. I'm gonna save you, asshole. Come here. Go! Ah. Let's go! Those daddy long legs. I'm trying to go across the road. Oh my god, am I fucking tired. I'm gonna sit on that fucking box. I gotta sit down. I am fucking exhausted. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh, good lord. Man. Oh man, that was fucking brutal. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I gotta get up, go, I guess. Yeah. Oh. I never would have thought there was a stream down there. And now that I know there's a stream down there, I'll bet there's minnows in that stream. walk. If I can't run, I'm limited. If I can't carry or pick up something, I'm very limited to what I can do to help anyone. Look at all that yard. If I had all that yard, I would have, maybe I'd have goats or sheep, uh, have them tied out in a way that they could take shelter under something, you know what I mean? Like a like you pull around with them maybe they are staked to you know a uh, run-in shed and you just pull the run-in shed around something that doesn't damage the yard too much you know you don't want to scrape it all up but you just keep moving around make sure there's a 
There's some shade if they need it, and there's water. I'm gonna have a drink. Whew. Man, am I fucking tired. If I had a chair with me, here's where I would go ahead and take it down and sit, sit down for about 10-15 minutes. If I sit down on the ground here, there's a chance that there are fleas, ticks, whatever, in this yard, so in this long uh, grass, and I really don't want that challenge, you know. Don't want that challenge. Who would want that challenge? I'm gonna take these gloves off. Look how they fucking fell apart. Just from washing them. Can you see that? And uh so put it on the outside. I brought that umbrella with me for nothing but that's okay, right? Okay. Worked out okay. Yeah. I'm gonna drink uh, something different. I hit some of that pre-workout. Whew. Whew, I'm feeling fucking hammered. There we go. I hardly got anything out of it, man. Oh well. Maybe it's uh, for the best. You know, oh. all right. I'm listening to the gospel of God through Christ Yeshua has uh, told by the Holy Spirit to the scribe might have been Apostle John. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, my shit, bro. Uh. Oh. 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 Bending over because it's fucking hip. A lot of nerve impingement. <sighs> Lots. <sighs> I need a swimming pool. Oh. A swimming pool. Yeah. I need a swimming pool. A fresh, fresh water pool. A fresh water pool. Yeah, that would be nice. would be nice. Yeah. Oh, it's better. I'm going back to make sure I didn't forget nothing. 
I could have dropped something on the ground and I don't even know it. In Jesus' name, hear the Oh, I smell something. I smell something like a fucking chemical. <laughs> horrible. Uh, I better get going, you know. Mm. I could almost like throw up right now. I just feel nauseated too, you know. Fucking horrible. Oh god. Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Let's see if I guess. Ah, oh, shit. Thought I had a fucking bag of something to help me with my in case my sugar went low. Oh god. Guess not. Guess not. Fuck. Okay. All right. Oh. oh God. All right. Man, there's a nasty ass fucking smell along this road. Real nasty. Ooh. It gets India. Oh god. Nasty. There's a nasty fucking chemical smell here, man. Ooh, nasty. It got into me just fucking sitting there for that little time. Think I'm kidding around? For real. It could be after being dosed with all those chemicals that I'm more sensitive, you know? what it is I think but if you if there were tests if there were if there were tests done right there where I took a break 
I think you'd find a high level of fucking uh, toxicity chemicals. Matter of fact, I would put money on it. Just from sitting there, um, I can, man, was I, I was real sensitive to it. It actually got into me a little bit. Whew. That's right by Harry's place on Route 51. Wow. There must be a fucking shitload a fucking chemical that you know is right in that area. Wow. Listen to what I'm telling you. Oh man. You see a stream down there? My youthful soul thinks to come back with a minnow trap and walk this walk this out and find a hole where there's minnows. I would imagine there's minnows. Then again, I don't know. See that galvanized steel? Here's a piece of coal. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that coal. That's what that is, man. If I was out here camping and I found this coal and I'd look for more, find more coal, I'd be pretty happy. Exhausted. God. I can't even talk. I haven't even come that far with a bike ride. Wow. Man. Son of a gun. My shoe's kind of tight. 
I should probably loosen it. This seat, I can honestly find a, if I could find a way to lay down, I would fucking lay down right now. I'm so that exhausted right now. I don't know why. I don't know. Just fucking exhausted. Hmm. Wow, fucking exhausted. Horrible. I hate feeling this way. Hmm. Oh, I hope I've got some of this fucking sugar with me. Ah, oh, shit. Nope. Oh man, I was so hoping I had some. Good Lord, oh. I am that fucking exhausted. I mean, it's like, holy shit. My God. Oh, good Lord. Oh. Mm. Guess it's about that time to get the fuck up out of here. Oh, man.
Wow, it's just fucking horrible. Oh, man. Mm. 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 Boy. Oh, that's fucking brutal, man. Acorn, not acorn, but acorn. Acorn, I guess. Acorn. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. Wow. I ain't hardly done anything. I was hard on Ted Cruz. I didn't want to be. I tell you the truth, I really like Ted Cruz. I like him. I'd like to see him turn it around, take his hands off of the nation state of Israel. Repent, he could do some do some good things. He probably thinks that I hate him. I don't. Yeah, I must really love him or I wouldn't have said nothing to him. Really. Why do I say that? Yeah, why do I say that? <sighs> Figure it out. Poor guy ain't got no penis.
a fucking weirdo. You meet him up there where he works at Walmart, I think, and he's all smiles and acts friendly. You see him outside of the work, and he's, he's a fuck different person. So he needs that job, that kind of a situation, a public situation, to even act amicable. I gave up, you know, I waved Harry's place on Route 51, Constitution Boulevard. That's in between Darlington and East, East Palestine on 51. Right, uh, like it's on, like you're on, be on, if you're on the southbound, you go past Harry's, right there on the right hand side, that's where I was. With the uh, chemical there, if testing was done, it, you're gonna find high readings of some shit. I'm, I am positive. I am positive. Wow. That is a fucking toxic zone right there. Holy shit. Those people live around there, man. They are fucked. Sadly, fucked. Wow. I wonder how far it goes down that, that bad. Ooh. I'm that fucking sensitive to it. You see, everything's for a reason. There was a reason why I fucking... I stopped there. I didn't know it. But that's why. Do some testing right there. You're gonna get fucking... fucking high levels of shit right in there. Really bad. Feel sorry for those people who live right in that area. Fucking bad. Very bad. Wow. Look at this gravel. I don't want to fall down. I better be careful. Holy shit. Ah. Okay. We're on the big sprocket. I better be careful. I hit that real soft gravel. Like the shit that uh, once I got past the um, road surface. And boy, that... Fortunate, fortunate that I didn't go down. Look at these birds. It's a goat up there, huh? Crying out, saying, hey, hey! Saying hello! Well, yeah. hello. I didn't get the workout I wanted. It's a nice looking Kenworth. Nice. Hey, Mr. Groundhog, what you doing? Hello. You see him, he didn't move at all. I wonder what's up with him. Is he a rabbit or what? Is he hit by a car? Did you get hit by a car or something? Huh? Are you okay? What happened? What happened? What happened, buddy? Hi. Did you get hit by a car? Hi. Did you get hit by a car? In Jesus' name, huh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. I was worried about him. 
Hallelujah. He was just a little guy, man, wasn't he? Oh boy. See that? You don't even see me yet. Oh, oh, you see me now. Thank you. Is that a rabbit or a groundhog? Look at that damn cat. Out killing something, probably. What you doing? You think you're hiding from me? You think I can't see you? Yeah, all right. Man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Agway Drive. There used to be a feed store there. Hence, Agway products were sold there, you know? Boy, oh boy. Got a little bit of a headache. a rough one. I knew it was going to be rough. Two days ago, 
you know, like a day after a big ride that I took. I should have been out. I, uh, it was like getting on that, there was a wave, you know? And I was to get up on it and ride it because now I'm down in whatever they call that. A riptide. But I should have got up on that wave. God gave me indication. Even stopped me from uh, being able to watch television. My cable was all fucked up. And it was messed up so that I wouldn't sit my ass down and watch, you know, uh, YouTube and any television. Just get up and go, go for a bike ride. It was all blessing. And I knew it, and I should have just went. Now I'm now, now I've got to fucking get back up on try to find my way back up on that wave. Find another wave. Or you gotta give me another one. Right. Oh. Put those mirrors on there and never even looked at them. Oh. Wow, okay. Oh man, it's a rough one. Holy shit. Oh. What's happening? Ah, uh, threes were just fucking.
Wow. Oh my, okay. Guess that's enough, huh? Oh boy, okay, that one went off. Boom, be nice to the guy. And he just fucking gives me that look. It's always the same. Expressionless. And I don't know what his deal is. I don't know if it's because he's an expression of the prejudice in this area, I don't know. I don't know. See that? You see it? Yeah. Whoever, if it is someone here in town that is receiving money from the train out at Norfolk Southern to park these here, in another time, I'd advocate that they be punished for what they've done. Because even if the, those containers were empty, they spray some industrial weed killer all around them so nothing grows. And you've got children that Quite literally, I, I have shown on video swing sets setting right there in the dead zone, right next to, like I'm saying, reach out and touch those containers from the where the children are playing. So if there is some somebody here in Darlington that's got an arrangement or made an arrangement with Norfolk Southern to park them here. They need to fucking uh, be punished. How punished? Uh, I pray leave it up to Yah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's a fucking selfish, really cruel, you know, thing to do. You think about what chemicals those kids you know, have been uh, exposed to and have absorbed into their system. And whoever it is that's made an arrangement with Norfolk Southern to do that. Hello. See what I got here. No, thank you. There we go. Oh, oh God, here we go. No. There it is. Yeah, that groundhog loves that lettuce. Oi! Man, that's fucking. Fuck. Oh, God.
Molly! Hi, Molly. There we are. Oh, God. There it is. Almost. Here we go. Whew. There it is. I'm not fucking sensitive to it. Hey, buddy. Look at that big old stump. Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. Isn't he cool looking? Wow, know he's it. big, eh? Dutch Can you see him? He's big. He's big. He's big. Right You're gonna get fucking... He's a big scum. Fucking high levels of shit right in there. Hey, bud. Really bad. He's a big one. Hope he comes back out. I feel sorry for those people who live right in that area. Fucking bad. Where is he? I won't see him again. That's probably it.